Thank you, Anila, and thank you to AMWEC for the invitation to be here today. We at the Interfaith Council were horrified by the hostage situation at Congregation Beth Israel, as were all of you. In our 11 faith traditions, we stand united in solidarity with one another. And today we reaffirm that all people of faith have the right to worship freely in this country and to feel safe in doing so. We're located in the capital area in the District of Columbia, Northern Virginia, and the Maryland suburbs. And in addition to the Jewish community, our member traditions include Protestant Christians like myself, Hindu communities, Muslims, Roman Catholics, Zoroastrians, Sikhs, Jains, Buddhists, the Baha'i community, and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We extend our prayers and healing energy to the Jewish community throughout the world, including here in the capital area, and stand ready to take action to reaffirm our commitment to a community in our region that celebrates religious diversity and inclusivity. Anti-Semitism has no place in the capital area, in the United States, or anywhere else. And so we call on people of all faiths and of no particular faith to stand in solidarity with the Jewish community, not just when these incidents occur, but every day. People of all faiths can help to prevent such attacks by working together to promote respect for all religious traditions. In our families, schools, businesses, houses of worship, neighborhoods, and more, each and every one of us has opportunities to affirm the dignity of all people. We at the IFC want to encourage all of you on this call to learn more about anti-Semitism and to talk about it, including in your houses of worship. If you're not sure where to go or where to start in learning about anti-Semitism or going deeper, uh, we're happy to guide you to resources that will help, and you can look us up online at our website. We at the Interfaith Council of Metropolitan Washington believe that people of all faiths deserve to feel welcomed, respected, and appreciated for the values that they share and the distinctions that make them each unique. Until that inclusive vision is realized here in the capital area, we have more work to do. And we remain committed to working to achieve that vision, and we invite all of you to join with us in doing so. <laughs>